wow this this announcement came at a really great time because literally yesterday i was thinking man 2022 it's already March, and it's felt pretty stale so far in terms of the gacha gaming and mobile world. And so my guys, welcome to Nike, Goddess of Victory. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be doing a hype video. A hype video because we have an announcement, we have a CBT, we have so much going on for Nike, formerly Project Nike, Goddess of Victory. And so if you guys are unfamiliar with Nike, I believe they did Destiny Child. Okay, this game over here, it is probably one of the most free to play, one of the most like fan servicey games. Let me just show you guys some example screenshots. And so as you could see with Destiny Child, like this art, it is very, very similar to what we are seeing with Nike over here. Well, yeah, duh, because it is from the same studio. Okay, so what just happened a few hours ago was that Nike Goddess of Victory, this actually got an EN announcement for a launch. And that announcement was that we will be seeing Nike release, a global release in 2022. Fantastic news. I personally think that this is gonna be a fantastic game. It is quite innovative in terms of like what it offers. So if you do want to catch some of the gameplay, actually I will show you some gameplay, but first I have this one over here, Nikkei Goddess of Victory, second teaser PV full version. I'll drop this of course down in the description below, but essentially this is the Korean version of the PV. If you want to listen to the English voice acting, you have to head over to the nikkei-en.com website and you can click this play button over here and this will be the same PV except it's going to have English voice acting instead. And so yes, my guys, you did hear me correct. This PV is Korean. Shift Up is certainly a Korean studio. So what I do want to showcase is the gameplay itself. Let me just pop up over to about like one minute and then we'll be able to see some of the action. There is the fantastic live 2D. Let me just full screen this. And this is the gameplay itself. It is, uh, it is very, very hectic to say the least. But in a nutshell, we are doing like over the shoulder kind of combat. As you can see, a lot of fans service here a lot of great animations high quality animations with live 2d and great uh jiggle physics let's put it that way and so here we've got like some showcasing of the mechanics it's it's just crazy there is uh honestly a lot of stuff going on oh i just found i just found my alignment okay guys <laughs> But yeah, the interesting thing about this game is that like you can see this is all like landscape, right? The thing about this game was that it has been marketed for a very long time for it to be a vertical mobile game. And so seeing these horizontal screens, I'm a little bit confused as to like the approach they're taking. Are they going to be doing like a PC client? Is it going to be actually like horizontal landscape mode or is it going to be portrait? Still some questions that we don't have answers for. But what I can say about this is that it is looking pretty exciting. Look at this. Check out the official website we've got the Nikkei dash en it's coming out in 2022 it's just so freaking hype all right so with that you should have grasped like the core gameplay as you can see wow like like look at that it's literally busting out i <laughs> Jeez. i mean i can scroll through a couple more of these the gameplay itself is probably what i'm most interested in i know you guys think i'm a freaking like hardcore dgen I'm just a moderate degen, okay? But yeah, in terms of characters, it looks like we have like primarily four factions. And if you hover these, or well, some of them actually have live 2D. Like, look at that. They have live 2D on the side. It is a little bit jittery, but I don't think you, I don't know if you guys can see the jittery. But honestly, this is going to be like pretty insanely cracked out. Okay, no live 2D there. That's okay. I mean, they literally just announced this a few hours ago. Not really much that they can do about it. And so with these screenshots, this is kind of what I mean by like marketed as a portrait. So let me just like kind of, okay, I can't make that big, but you can see that, right? I'm just going to scroll in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can still kind of see that. And so with these screenshots, you can really see what I mean, right? Like, oh my Lord, look at that ass to face action. Mm, it is fan service central. That's that's literally all I can say. Actually, that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about this vertical UI, this portrait UI. This is 100% what I meant when I said like they are marketing it for the portrait players. Up until now, like the majority of the marketing material I've seen has been like this. It has been portrait. And I do think this is what you should expect when we actually go ahead and play the game. However, again, like this freaking preview when it's showing like the this horizontal landscape mode, it just kind of gives me hope. It gives me a little bit of hope that they're 
may be a PC client. All right, but back to this one over here. There are a couple of things that I actually did want to talk about because some of the screenshots actually show us a couple of different mechanics. So for example, you can see the crosshairs up here and then you can see a couple of like different crosshairs. I think this one looks like a sniper rifle. These ones look more like assault rifles and stuff. I think that these are going to be the classes of each of these characters. And then on top of that, you see that there is a two in Roman numerals here and then a three in Roman numerals there as well. To be honest, I'm just going to point that out. I personally think it's going to be like an elite specialization system, very much like your Ark Knights or like your Alchemy Stars, where you potentially start from level one, go to like max cap of level 50, ascend, start back to level one, and then go up to level 70, ascend, and then so forth, right? And so that's what I think that two Roman numeral, that three Roman numeral, and that one Roman numeral thing is going to mean. However, there is one last system that I can kind of see, and that is the star system over here. I suspect it's going to be a dupe system. Not 100% sure as to what exactly we can expect from dupes. It might be like small impact, like Ark Knights, or it might be big impact, like Alchemy Stars, or like literally 99% of other gadgets. Still not sure what to expect in terms of that, but that's my guess. Like an elite specialization system going like the, with the levels, another one for the dupes with these stars, and then we've got the classes up here. Actually, I just noticed there's black and white classes. I, man, my guess is, is just not there. Honestly, I'm gonna have to ask you guys for your guess. Why is there like a black crosshair and why is there a white crosshair? I suspect maybe black is strong against black, white is strong against white, or vice versa. That's probably gonna be like something similar to our element system. But like, to be honest, that's a, that's a totally left field guess. I have no idea, it's completely baseless. But then again, like all of my guesses, all of my predictions have been completely baseless anyway. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so this one's pretty interesting and I'm not talking interesting like that kind of interesting. I'm talking interesting because we actually get to see the UI. We see that our character is aiming at things and doing damage to them. We can see also that we actually have five characters in our squad that we take out to combat. And if I scroll over to this one over here, what I do notice is that some of the characters actually looks like they have buffs on them, which is really cool. And so just looking around on this UI, there are a couple of cool elements that I do want to point out. The first one is that there is an auto system which is very nice. However, typically speaking, when there is an auto system, there probably isn't going to be a skip system. I'm not sure. But honestly, we haven't seen many stage UIs yet. I don't think we have a single stage UI aside from this one, which really doesn't show you much. But at least we know like for farming, there probably is going to be an auto battle. Otherwise, it looks like kind of like a progression system where you have this bar, you're starting from the left hand side and you're trying to go all the way to the right. And I suspect that as you kill off more and more mobs or more enemies, you're probably going to progress towards that red dot at the end. Moving through, we've got the main screen over here, a very, very classical system. We've got a whole bunch of stuff with like the events, the messages, the notice on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, we have a couple of interesting things. The first of which is the union. So I'm thinking potentially guild or clan, some kind of multiplayer aspect. But the really interesting one is the rankings. So I'm wondering if there is going to be somehow like PVP or if it's going to be PVP like a clan battle where you do damage to a boss, something like that. Otherwise, everything on this screen is kind of straightforward. So I'm just going to click out of that and start talking about the last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, why can't I get out? And that is when we land on the nikke-en.com page, you will see here we have a CBT registration opening. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and show you guys what exactly that looks like. So the CBT recruitment has started on March 6th. So it actually literally just started considering it's March 7th for me. And it's a pretty simple CBT form. Like they're probably just trying to check that you're over 18 with the age. But what is really like really of note is that this is only going to be available for players in the US, this closed beta test. I think that this is the global release because when I have a look at the marketing material, so let's go back to this one over here, you can see global release in 2022. I think that it's only the CBT that's going to be held in the US. So if you're going to be trying to get into the CBT, I probably suggest that you guys answer with United States. And then how I suspect this is going to play out is that your Play Store or your region or whatever is going to have to be set to the US for you to be able to download it. Otherwise, everything else is actually really, really straightforward. So just put in an email, use the device. Uh, is there an emulator? There is no emulator. Oh yeah, no shit, there's no emulator because it's not Android. All right, uh, there is still no emulator. That's all good. That's just how it is. So yeah. 
yeah, that's pretty much all of the news in terms of Nike Goddess of Victory, the CBT. We got the global announcement, hopefully released sometime this year. And as you guys can see, a whole bunch of fan service. That really is the focus of Nike, to be honest. Okay, and so with that being said, it's time to pass off the question to you guys. Are you guys looking forward to Nike Goddess of Victory? I'm gonna say that I'm certainly interested, especially for the gameplay. Again, like, <laughs> that is kind of whatever to me. I'm actually not really drawn to these kinds of aspects of this game. Like, let's be real, guys. If I wanted to see a whole bunch of animated ass, like, there are other places I could get that. This gameplay, though, this gameplay actually looks kind of unique. And so my guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving a comment, I would really appreciate that because it means you watch up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. If you did like this video, please consider a like. And if you would like to see more, please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, as your girl Rapi once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.